So here you are looking to be informed about the Coachell Valley real estate market. That's great, but you are inundated with all the real estate market information online. It's awesome, but I'm sure it leaves you a bit confused. Attrition rate, inventory, average sales, discounts. Oh my goodness. Do you know what all that means? Do you know how it affects you? Stay tuned. I'm going to break it down for you and give you my current market insights. Hi there, it's me, Stefan Burchard, the Desert Bowtie Realtor here in the Greater Palm Springs region. I record and post content here about the local market and the desert lifestyle because I love what I do. But more importantly, I believe real estate should be fun and easy. So here you are, you're back for the update. But you're not sure how all this data affects you. That's great, for real. It means you want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. So I'm going to decode it for you. Let's get to it. So first is median prices. We're gonna start with homes. They closed at 695,000, which is up 0.7% above last year. Pretty much the same thing. Attached homes or condos, they closed at 484,000, which is 1.2% less than a year ago. Now those numbers are for the entire valley. Breakdowns of the same stats for each city are on the chart that I send out every month, the full desert housing report. This information is important because it gives you an idea of where current prices are and how they're trending. Buyers and sellers get a rough idea on prices for the valley or a particular city, while the percent change gives an idea of how prices are moving and it also reveals trends. This is a rough idea. I like to stay on top of this information monthly, so it's really easy for me. Months of supply. Currently, we stand at 3.2 months of supply, which is up slightly from last month, but still below our pre-pandemic averages for this time of year. Why is this important? Well, if no new homes are added to the market for sale, then we have only 3.2 months worth of inventory to sell at the current sales tempo. This is known as the attrition rate. It is one measure to show how quick homes are selling. The higher the demand, the lower these numbers will be, depending on inventories, of course. We'll talk about inventory later. These measures are also broken down by city and price in the full desert housing report on my website and in my newsletter. Days on market, days in market, same thing. This is the average time on market for a property valley-wide. This number can be higher or lower for any particular city, subdivision, or even a price point. Currently, our average days on market is 44 days. It is slightly below last month, but still up 24 days from a year ago. We are still seeing it creep back up, but it is still below our pre-pandemic average of 65 days. We are not predicting a return to those pre-pandemic averages. This is due to the higher demand for desert properties. Why is this measure important, you ask? Well, sellers can get an idea of how long it might take to sell their home. Each city and price point is broken down in the full report. Very informative information. Buyers get an idea of how long homes may be on the market on average for a particular city or price point. If a home has been on the market longer than these averages, you never know, the seller may be willing to negotiate. Believe it or not, currently, there are a lot of motivated sellers negotiating since home sales are slower than they were a year ago. Man, this is a lot of information. Now, inventory. Inventory is the number of properties that are available for sale in our market. Our current inventory stands at 1,867 units, which is virtually unchanged from last month, but 688 more units than a year ago. This number means nothing without looking at the trends. Over time, you can see how this inventory number has decreased since 2018. This demonstrates an increase in demand and the resulting market activity. Now, notice before 2020, we had those seasonal ups and downs. Those were our normal. Notice what happened after June 2020. You can see the result on our inventory due to the COVID rush and high demand. June of last year, we had 1,179 properties for sale. So, with the current numbers, we continue seeing some balance return to our market. Sales volume, also known as average unit sales. This is the actual unit sales activity that happens from month to month. For the greater Palm Springs region, this is broken down into two graphs because of our seasonality. We have a three month average and a 12 month average. We break this down because this seasonality affects our sales activity. For the three month average, we currently have a combined total of 769 homes sold. Before the pandemic, June sales averaged about 900 to 1000 units per month. Now, 
Notice how the graph jumps up and down as it follows our seasonal pattern. Pre-COVID, you can see how it followed a regular seasonal pattern. Then, May of 2020, we were still feeling a bit of a pinch from the uh, California shelter in place, but immediately after, during what I call the COVID rush, it shot up over 1,000 units per month, and it got as high as 1,300 units per month. Compare this to our current average of 769 units. Now, the 12-month average removes the seasonality and shows the long-term trends in how homes are selling year to year. Notice there are no seasonal ups and downs on this graph. However, notice how it shot up during COVID and is now slowly getting back down to what we would consider our normal activity, a little bit below what would be our normal. Before COVID, there was relative stability in this particular graph. We can see now how it is slowly returning to what it was previously. However, we have seen demand decrease a bit due to inflation and interest rates that hit us mid last year. These numbers are important because they show buyers and sellers how many homes are selling desert-wide, and it's a decent indicator of demand. We are down approximately 31% from our pre-pandemic average. Currently, we're at 592 units per month. High sales, low inventory, push prices higher. Lower demand and increased inventory, prices soften. Basic economics, right? Selling over list price shows how many homes are selling above list price. It's usually broken down into a percentage. This graph clearly demonstrates demand. However, more importantly, competition. This time last year, more than 58% of homes were selling above list price. Wow! Currently, we are at 17%. That's slightly above last month. So it shows we are seeing more activity and we are seeing homes selling close to list price. I believe if a home is priced well, it sells at list price or above. Pricing is really, really, really important. In my opinion, the most important key to creating strong interest in properties. I know that was a lot of information. I hope you understand it a little bit better and especially the data suit. But more importantly, how it affects you as a buyer or seller. So now you can make more informed decisions with confidence. So my market summary? Well, our inventory is still down by about a thousand units from pre-pandemic levels. However, other figures are looking better. The low unit sales are a return to pre-pandemic seasonal patterns, coupled with higher interest rates and inflation, as I previously stated. Now, the lower inventory is coupled with the seasonal contraction of our inventory as we head into summer. However, still, I and other realtors are seeing an uptick in sales and market activity. I've also spoken with lenders and inspectors who say that the business is on the rise as well. These are all called lagging indicators, pointing to the market coming off the cooling and leveling off from the higher interest rates and inflation. Still a bit slower than pre-pandemic, but we are seeing balance return to our market, which is a really good thing. Now, check out this awesome video about how I got into real estate reluctantly. Bye! For single family homes is 694,000. In the full desert housing report, report. We have a three month average and a 12, I don't have 12 fingers. <laughs>